Is how many of you like this? Isn't this cute? Yeah. Oh. Josie the Great. I, I saw a lot of you illustrating, actually sketching her out. So how many of you read the story? Did you have time to read the story? No. Not really, yeah. So it's about a family that's getting a new baby um, added to the family. Ooh. And her name is Josie. So we talk all about little Miss Josie. And I got to meet the um, author of this actually the other day on a Saturday we had a reception and she came all the way from Florida so her name is uh, Pam Saxelby and her and her husband Bill came all the way out here just to come to the reception and they told me an interesting story so I'd like to share the story with you because I think it gives you a good idea about artists and how things, um, you know, come together. So do you know what the word collaboration means? No. That's a big word, isn't it? Yes. It means when you work together with something, on something with somebody. So Miss Pam and her daughter Anne, the illustrator, actually worked together on this book. And Anne is actually the illustrator, is her daughter. So Pam is her mother. So um, Anne's dad was telling me a story about how Anne always liked to draw things that were aging, like people that were getting older and um, just very interesting in how people age. And so Miss Anne and her mom actually did this together. And so this is actually about birth. It's another part of aging, right? Um, but Miss Anne went on to be a cheesemaker and have a cheese business. Now, what in the world does cheese have to do with art? Can you see any connections there? Yes. You could paint cheese. You could paint cheese? Absolutely. What else? What could you do with cheese? Um, you could shape it into like something. You could shape it. You could make clay cheese, right? And paint it. Yeah. You could. Um, you could, cause cheese and cheese can get old. Cheese can. You're on the right track. Cheese can get old. So Miss Anne went all over the world, and she found cheese, cause cheese ages. Okay. So you see the connection now. So between she liked to do painting about people aging and she also liked cheese. So she has combined both things that she loves to do and now she has a cheese business. And it's cheeses from all over the world and I believe she said it was New York. I'm not sure. Um, yes, it was in New York. So if you ever go to New York, you got to look for Miss Anne's Cheese Factory. So there are ways to combine your love of something and make it into a business. How many of you watch video games? Ooh, I love video games. So who do you think is illustrating and making up those characters? Is that a designer or an artist? Artist. So an artist, a graphic designer. So I bet you that person doing that loved video games when they were a kid, right? Mm -hmm. So they understood and they learned a lot about it and then they decided, oh, this is what I want to do for business. So the point being that you can grow up and you can do whatever you want. You could grow up and be the president and maybe you have an art studio in the White House. Right? Why not? Right? So even if you don't use it as a business or you make money from it, it's still fun to do, right? Yes. It's still fun to do. Okay, so we're